Hey folks, welcome to another episode in Tone's Garage. Um, so I've been working on the 9-inch diff where the ring gear bolts backed out on the, on the true track. Well, they go through the true track, but, you know, after 20 years. I saw it, but um, I got my last video, got my backlash and carrier preloads. Uh, set so it's checking the pattern with for uh, pinion depth i reuse the shim uh from previous which i should have you know because i didn't change the ring and pinion but just making sure everything's good uh maybe went a little crazy on the on the paint um the oil based paint came with a kit uh but as you can see the the wear pattern there on the drive side is nice and centered, pretty centered. Um, and on the coast side, uh, it's looking, looking good too. Let me spin that around. So... I'm going to send it. Going to send it. I'll, uh, I got an O-ring. Uh, new O-ring. I was using the old O-ring in case I had to remove this and, and uh, put a different shim in there. But I'll get this apart. Put the new O-ring in. And a tip. When, uh, when I put it back together... On the shim, I use uh, anti-seize, a little bit, just a little bit of anti-seize. It, uh, it'll help keep water seeping and rusting. I've, I've pulled shims out that are rusty, rusted to the carrier, and so forth. So uh, when I got this apart, uh, it, it came apart nice and easy, and there was no rust in there because I used anti-seize. Um, so that's just a tip I do. Uh, you can use it or not. Uh, anyway, after that's all done, it's going back in, in the Bronco. Thanks for watching.